hey guys welcome back again I'm MJ in this video I'll show you how to install latest Windows 11 in your unsupported PC okay so follow the instruction very carefully and watch the video till the end okay so first you need to download the Windows ISO file open any browser open the Google in the Google just type Windows 11 download and open the first link so from here you will get this page scroll down here you can see download Windows 11 disk this is the ISO file here select Windows 11 multi edition and then confirm now select the language and then confirm here select the 64 bit and click on download and save the file so this will take some time because this is uh, around 6 GB file and after this you need to download one more thing uh, go to Google and the Google just type Rufus 3.17 download and open this link and here in the list you need to select the Rufus 3.17.exe just click on it and download it ok so after download complete of your ISO file and Rufus now attach your pen drive at least it should be more than 8 GB so remember one thing while making the bootable pen drive the your pen drive will be format and your data will be deleted ok so use the empty pen drive or take the backup if you have any important data in your pen drive ok so attach the pen drive now open the Rufus so here in the device you need to select the pen drive here be careful don't select the other drive only select your pen drive ok and in the ISO click on select and then select windows 11 ISO file which you have already downloaded select it and click on open ok now here is the main thing ok uh, in the image option extend it and select extend windows 11 installation no TPM no secure boot ok this is a must and should ok just select it and in the partition you need to check which partition your motherboard support uh, in my case my motherboard support the MBR so I am selecting the MBR in the target system just select the BIOS ok and now simply select the NTFS keep it default keep it default and then click on start remember when you click on start your pen drive will be format and it will become the bootable pen drive ok so if you have any data in your pen drive then take the backup I'll click on start so you will get the warning here your pen drive data will be display click ok and it will start to making your bootable pen drive so just wait here so done as you can see my bootable pen drive is ready now close it and now it's time to attach this pen drive to your PC or laptop where you're going to install the Windows 11 okay so attach this pen drive to your PC or laptop USB port ok now it's time to restart your PC if you are not getting desktop then force restart or shut down your PC ok so when the PC or laptop restarting you need to press the boot key so in my case my boot key is F12 or delete ok so it might be different boot key for your different manufacturer so check your boot key like if you are using Asus laptop or if you are using Dell, HP or Samsung so check the boot key on internet okay and then keep pressing this uh, boot key look at that i'm pressing the f12 dell together so keep pressing like this your boot key and it will redirect to your boot option so just keep pressing it look at that i got the boot screen now it's time to select the usb so select the usb and hit enter and press any key so you can press the any key from the keyboard and that's it now this is starting the installation of windows 11 from here you need to follow the instruction very carefully okay so here uh, select the your languages after selecting your language and time currency click next and then next and while you installing the windows 11 is better to disconnect the internet okay disconnect the internet from your pc or laptop so here select the install windows 11 okay and I agree click next uh, here you need to type the product key if you don't have the product key then simply uh, click on I don't have the product key here and now select the Windows 11 Pro from the list and click next select the agreement just click on accept so now the important thing here it will show your entire hard drive so select the proper 
drive okay so i am going to install the windows 11 on the c drive so c drive data will be completely erased okay and don't disturb the other drive if you have data in the e drive d drive then don't disturb the other drive data only select the c drive and c drive data will be completely erased and windows 11 will be installed on the c drive if you don't disturb any other drive then other drive data will not be deleted remember this okay so here i have selected the my partition a partition disk 0 partition 2 is my c drive so you must know which is your c drive okay in my case disk 0 partition 2 and 390 gb is my c drive so select the correct c drive don't select other drive otherwise your data of other drive will be deleted okay so i am going to select the c drive and then click next and click on install so this will start to installing the windows 11 in your pc and while installing the windows don't disturb your pc or laptop don't press any button of your pc or laptop and don't turn off the your pc okay just let it to complete this entire process so after complete 100 percent your pc will restart so might be your PC or laptop restart several times so don't be panicked and this time don't press any button when after installing the windows it will ask to uh, press any any key then don't press any key so as you can see here windows 11 is installing so your PC uh, may be restart several times so don't be panicked just sit back relax okay Here now select your country or region and then click yes and the keyboard layout I will select English India and click yes. So second keyboard layout I don't want I will skip it. Uh, now connect uh, your internet select your internet and click on connect and here enter your Wi-Fi password and then click on next. Now it's time to give the device name. If you want, you can give the device name or simply click on skip now. But I'm going to give the device name here like this and click next. If you are facing any Wi-Fi connecting issue or you don't want to connect the Wi-Fi to your PC, then the simple thing is bypass it. Press the shift F10 from your keyboard. A command prompt will open. Here type double O B E backslash b y p a double s n r o and hit enter so this will bypass your wi-fi or network connection and your pc will restart so just let it to restart it now once again uh, select your region country or region uh, keyboard layout english india select your keyboard layout uh, second keyboard i will skip it now i'm going to give the device name if you want you can skip it next so now select the setup so i am setting this pc for personal use so i will select personal and click next so now we got the screen your update is in progress this could take a while so it will take around uh, 15 to 20 minutes so wait here till this download is complete okay uh, sometime downloading will stuck on the 0% so don't be panicked just wait here your download will start okay so here we got the cancel feature and security update if you want you can cancel it and after installation of windows 11 you can again update it okay so for time saving i am going to uh, cancel this update okay so now once again click on cancel feature and security updates so now we got the option to sign in for microsoft experience so if you don't want to sign in microsoft account just disconnect the internet from your pc okay if you're using any wi-fi or internet with your pc just disconnect it or directly turn off the router okay so now i have turned off the router and i got my pc name here i will give the pc name so after this click next a password i don't want i will just click next and the privacy location i don't want find my device if you want you can turn on it but i'm going to turn off diagnostic data turn off let me type turn off yeah i don't want anything just turn off and accept
so finally after waiting long time i got installation of windows 11 i don't know microsoft why it made it very hard and difficult to install the windows 11 and the main thing i have suffered like in each and every option we have selected the pc is rebooting and it's taking longer time okay so it took me around uh, three hours yeah it took me around three hours to installation i don't know microsoft why making installation is too much hard and taking very long time but finally i got my desktop screen so this is the windows 11 latest version so let me check so here you can see 24h2 the latest version i have installed so this is how you can install windows 11 latest version on unsupported pcs thanks for watching guys catch you next time please like share and subscribe thank you very much guys